Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Helmet Boy Six Seven Six. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Online. I have the last time we did this. I believe we discovered that our hunter is from the future, and we were about to get an explanation to what in the hell is he jabbering about. Right. Let's go see what he's on. Captain, about. I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Good, I want to know what's going on. Very well, I'll be there shortly. There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Why is there more to this than I realize? Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. Okay. What the, What on earth are you on about something's not right? Could you at least explain your fucking sentences? Go... Damn it, Daniels! Could you at least explain the nonsense you're talking? It's very difficult to work out what on earth he's on about when he doesn't make any sense. So he said he was going to give us an explanation, and then instead of giving the explanation, he just said there's more to this than you realise. And then some things not right, I'll explain shortly. Great help. Great telling me what's going on, why is it going on, and incredibly useless. Something's things gone wrong. What is unknown? All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. Right. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. What the hell? Welcome to the temporal ready room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 aboard the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Jacob! What the hell? Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Uh, older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we're there. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's be going to the time better. Okay, there's a 
Captain. Thank you for coming, Captain. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed. And not for the better. We'll make this right. Transport to the Enterprise in 2268. There we go. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on the Nakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Understood. I'll leave my officers here. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start with the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Right, heading to deck level now. seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? Is there something I can help you with? Oh, should I be concerned? It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. We're being especially far. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant day. Looks like they're on the move, but I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right, let's head back to the junction to collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Head back toward the reception. Head toward the observation deck. Yeah. Turn toward the engineering circuits away from the turbo leaf. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gav. <laughs>
captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. We'll stop them there. Uh, Someone sent a bomb in here. I cannot defuse and keep the mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Dorzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Just don't read easily. Divert power to the number two shield. Check on that bomb. Um. Auxiliary power to shields. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Um. Repair teams to deck 11. Good work. Now check on that bomb. There's the bomb again. Oh. Scotty, we can't disable this bomb. The captain's ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. Got him. Well done. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now. So I technically outrank you. Nice. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Okie doke, let's do this thing then. Now we beam to the Orion ship. Good luck to you. Energizing. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security. Oh, hell wow. Awesome. 
to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. I'll try to keep them away from you, Come on, then. exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. We might make our next meeting at all. Indeed. Comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear. A time that will never come again. A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Korridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Of course you can. Collect the reward, you must choose the rewards. Oh, okay. So, do I want a. I'm going to have a. Telluride for the female. Team. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Uh, yes, I'd like you to join. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. That is it for today. I shall see you in the next episode.